I'm some issues because I have a tattoo. And then my other hand because of it. is Victoria Rose here and today's adventure is trying to go to a gym in Japan. I have a travel pass but I've been told they might not accept it. Alright so I'm here in Harajuku now and I'm going to the Gold's Gym. Hopefully they'll let me in. I don't know if they'll let me in or not. We really want to work out, so hopefully. Is that it? Is there different gyms in here? If you're traveling to Victoria, never follow directions. <laughs> yeah, you guys think that I've been doing all this direction work by myself. I actually haven't. I think you can trust her. I think you should follow her because she seems kind of confident. <laughs> just never do that. Most of what I say is BS. I'm just guessing. <laughs> but you're the same way, though. That's why we work well together. Yeah! We never get anything done. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Maybe this elevator? Maybe you have to go in from the top. I have some issues because I have a tattoo. And then my other hand because of it. You can use the gym if you on the high How am I to hide it? Like wear a scarf while I'm working out? <laughs> Can I use your scarf? Yeah. Is this lighter? Sure. Overseas members can use the gym in Japan when tattoo size is over. So... But it, yeah, it has to be covered. So you could have to use my scarf. Alright. So I put the scarf on. Yeah. Okay, yeah. I can use his scarf. I just want to clarify um, this clip next is actually a different day that I went to the gym and I had my neck covered up already because I knew that but my hand wasn't covered up enough a uh, lady came while I was working out and she's she didn't speak any English so she's kind of motioning for me like no tattoos so she brought this roll of tape and just, so she taped up my hand and all my tattoos <laughs> like I felt bad because she was like she had to tape me up but also I felt I was just like I'm almost done working out like tattoos are so offensive here. Also, you're not allowed to have shoes on in dressing rooms. Okay, so I wanted to interject right here to explain why the Japanese don't like tattoos real quick. The culture is obviously very different here. Um, I haven't seen yet a Japanese person have any tattoos. They just don't do that here because tattoos are associated with the Yakuza, which you can watch in my last video of Japanese people reacting to my tattoos and I talked a bit, or my friend talked a bit about the Yakuza. The Yakuza is a gang here and they're very dangerous and stuff and they have tattoos. The Japanese associate them with that but also they're a very traditional type of culture and it's just not something that they do here. So in bathhouses, gyms, certain places you're not allowed to have tattoos. They're very particular about certain things and if you don't know those certain things when you come here as a foreigner, you'll be very surprised. Another reason is they don't want to um, potentially offend people at the gym. That is uh, a little brief explanation of that. Anyways, let's get into the rest of this video. <laughs> it was so hot in there. Like, I was sweating so bad because I had to wear a scarf the whole time and I also had to cover up my hand. But also they kept the temperature super, super hot. So it's kind of difficult to work out. But I got in the locker room and the lady's like, the first lady at the desk gave, gave me kind of a hard time to get in. But then we talked to a couple people and they're like, okay, you just got to cover up your tattoos. And I went in and she's like, I'm sorry, she's new here. You can't, you can't come in with tattoos. So she was gonna like kick me out once I was in the locker room. And I'm like, no, 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 
Like I, I, I have a gym membership in America, Gold's Gym. I'm an influencer for Gold's Gym there. And she's like, oh, I'm like, I'll cover up. I'm gonna put the scarf on and a glove on. So I got in, <laughs> but that was weird. It was difficult, uh, stressed me out. I've never had that before, especially in America, where um, even before when I was here, it wasn't really a problem, but I guess with gyms and stuff like that, it is a problem. Anyways, I don't have any service, but I'm gonna go try to find a star. Oh, I see an Adidas store. I'm gonna try to find a Starbucks so I can meet back up with the masked man, see if I can find my way back around. It's my first time kind of being solo out here in Harajuku, so. That's my story, and yeah, pulling off finally. I had a head spa. He had a head spa. I've become bougie since he's come back to Tokyo. <laughs> yeah, he's like, it's very uh, LA now. It's a little too LA for me, to be honest. Um, now we are going to, like, um, so I only brought one pair of plugs for my ears, and one of them fell out, and I lost them. So I'm gonna see if I can find some here. I haven't seen anybody with plugs here, but hopefully they'll have some sort of store. I'm in Harajuku, so he said, this is the most this is Family service room. I guess that's where you're breastfeeding, breast yeah. Hold a look. Look at these shoes, I want them. Doing a little photo shoot on the street real quick. <laughs> you get a lighter one. What do you want? Why don't we hold them up? Blue's fine. All right, so we went to um, a store that had a bunch of like plugs, but they were too expensive. For one, it was twenty dollars. So it'd be forty dollars for two, and I don't want to pay that much. So I'm just gonna try and order on Amazon. They have the coolest shoes here. I'm going to do a video about Japanese, maybe do like a little haul of some Japanese uh, fashion and makeup. High protein, nice. All right, so we found a vegan place here and they have like so many options. It's really difficult to find like vegan protein. Um, it's called The Bowl. If you have if you're ever here, like I recommend it. Like cheese, so that is tasty. I've, yeah, yeah, I've never tasted soy cheese that tastes like that. That's really cool. Okay, sorry for spitting stuff out. <laughs> Toilet seat is heated, and it like you stand up and it automatically flushes really well. It's like it's like a robot, and obviously like you can get all the, the features. <laughs> it's like, <laughs> they need toilets like these in America. Hey, so I'm back. I'm super tired. 
I'm like crashing for my pre-workout. But I hope you enjoyed my day. Um, it's very interesting, the cultural differences here. But I don't mind them because everybody can have their own things. I'm eating this egg sushi roll right now. It's like egg right here. And then there's like this pickled stuff. And yeah, it's vegetarian. But anyways, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Um, comment below any places that you'd like to see me travel. And I'll try my best to go there. Thank you so much for watching. I love you. Stay extraterrestrial. And I'll see you in the next vlog. Let me